Hey there, DIY lover and crafty friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make some DIY fairy lights that will add a magical touch to any room. I am super excited to share this tutorial with you. So let's get started. This tutorial will be divided into two parts. First, we will create a breadboard prototype. Then we will prepare our fairy lights for decoration. Let's start with the components we will need for the breadboard prototype. We need Arduino board. This is the microcontroller board used for controlling the LEDs. Then we need a breadboard. This is the platform where we will build and prototype our circuit. 12 different colored LEDs. These will create the magical fairy light effect. Then we need some jumper wire. We'll use this to connect our components to the breadboard. You can find all these materials to your local electronics store or online. Now let's take a close look at the LEDs we'll be using. LEDs have two leads and it's essential to understand which one is positive and which one is negative. The long lead is the anode or positive lead. The short lead is cathode or negative lead. Also notice the flat A's on the cathode lead side. This is another way to, to identify the negative lead. Now let's place our LEDs on the breadboard. To make the connections easier, we'll place all the cathode leads or negative leads on the negative rail of the breadboard. As you can see, I'm placing all the short lead with the flat A's on the negative rail. To make the light effect more visually appealing, I'm mixing and matching different colors of LEDs. This will create a unique and pleasant color pattern. Now that our LEDs are placed on the breadboard, let's connect them to the Arduino board. We'll be using the digital pins on the Arduino to control each LEDs. We'll connect each LED's anode lead to a digital pin, starting from digital pin D2 to digital pin D13. So each LED will be connected to a separate digital pin, allowing us to control them individually. Finally, we'll take one ground wire from Arduino and connect it to the negative rail of the breadboard. We have connected all the LEDs to the Arduino digital pins and established a common ground connection. And that's it. Our breadboard connections are now complete. Now that our hardware is set up, let's create an amazing LED patterns using Arduino. To get started, we'll need to download and install the Arduino IDE software from the official Arduino website. I'll share the download link in the description below. Once you have installed the software, open a new file in the Arduino IDE. Now copy the code from the description below and paste it into your new file. This code will give you a variety of LED patterns to get started with. Feel free to experiment and modify the code to create your own unique patterns. Once you have uploaded the code to the Arduino board, you'll be able to see the LED patterns in action. We have successfully created LED patterns with Arduino Uno. Let's take it to the next level. 
we will create a beautiful fairy LED lightings to decorate our room using the same code but with the Arduino Nano instead. To make our fairy LED lights, we'll be using 30 AWG thickness wires. These thin wires are perfect for creating delicate and intricate designs. Here is the connection diagram for your reference. Make sure to follow the diagram carefully to ensure correct connections. Now let's start connecting our LEDs and wires according to the diagram. This might take some time and patience, but the end result will be worth it. And here are our finished fairy LED lightings. Isn't it beautiful? With some colorful LEDs, an Arduino Nano and some creative wirings, we have transformed our room into a magic space. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video. I will be back with another exciting DIY project.